need a this mad snacks over here. Hopefully this shit don't die. Alright, this is oh wait. Not the cool shit. Yeah, let's step into these other niggas. Let me see. Man, this nigga job Morant tripping, dog. What do you do this? Oh yeah, time? yeah. yeah. First of all. Uh shout out to all the all the Muslim brothers and sisters that's uh fasting during Ramadan. So prayers to you. Send my love, man. Big tripping. So for those who don't know what's going on, John Morant, um, star point guard for the Memphis Grizzlies in the NBA. He's been going through a little bit of trials and tribulation yeah, was, off the court that, as of yeah. late. Um, this all kind of started last year. MP ski mask is nuts. Uh, John Morant flashing that little gun. Huh. Gotta be tight. I'm not gonna lie. Well, he got into a physical altercation with a 17-year-old that resulted in him potentially, allegedly. Oh, I said allegedly. And then also there's an ongoing investigation, or it was an ongoing investigation Still with um, some people that he was accompanied As by that and pulled out something, and it was a laser that was on the face of an uh, Indiana mm -hmm. Pacers um, and then staff member. mom got in a dispute at a mall. <laughs> According to a report obtained by the Washington Post, John Morant's mother got into an argument with an employee at Finish Line and called her son. So what does any son do in this situation? John Morant pulled up nine dudes deep to the Memphis Mall and wanted to have a conversation, I guess, with this Finish Line employee. As the group was leaving the premises, John Morant said, let me find out what time he gets off. Police wrote in the report. The guard wanted to file a report. Police wrote because he felt threatened by a statement from John Morant. John Morant's about to sign a $200, $300 million contract contract and in his free time he's thinking about jumping a minimum wage finish line worker and uh and then it peaked though uh -huh. uh, like a week ago when john morant was at a club or some type of event so after dope. um they played the um yeah the nuggets a strip club you ain't seen that wait, wait before you get to I that to say. he was dan he was dancing um it seemed like he's throwing up gang signs and then putting a uh Firearm next to his, his face telling you he really buy that business now first and foremost when it comes to the strip club picture um, The niggas who are posting that you're fucking certified no, losers not nah, in the strip you're club. You're done, buddy You're lo you're losers. You're losers. No, I'm talking about the niggas who posted the picture like yeah, who, who yeah, grabbed the picture and, Like they yeah. showed the money yeah, all over the place. Yo, that's the wackiest thing ever about being a celebrity bro like for the moment you touch the internet It don't matter if you post it for a second a nanosecond of posting it, bro. Somebody caught it Somebody caught that picture, and they're going to keep uploading. Even if you get it taken out, they're going to make fake pages and fake pages. And... Bruh, that junk is sad, bro. It's sickening, man, how invested some people are. Like, I get it. He made a mistake, but y'all, like, screenshot it. Uploading it is crazy. Send it to the group chat. Laugh about it. Ah, uh ah, -uh, bro. Post it on the story. Come on, come on. Y'all don't be posting nothing good. It'll be straight negativity, bro. And of course, I mean, unfortunately, he part he participated in that. But dang, dog, dang, did y'all have to like, you know what I mean? Like, dang. Oh yeah, that's weird too. Yeah, y'all, y'all fucking. But also that bro. strip club, like, who would want to go there again? That is a fact. Like now, y'all just lost like a lot of like promo behind. Yo, it. but apparently too, y'all heard. Look, hit me out, hit me out. I heard, yo, he's through like mad breach. You feel me? The the promoter, whoever, like the strip club owner, whoever. I think that came out made a statement like, yeah, you know, he was in having fun. Money, he had a lap dance. I don't know what else he was doing. You feel me? But my son was having a ball, bro. It's just the going live thing. Like, I gotta hold you accountable. You did something foolish. I'm not trying to curse or nothing like that. You did some bare, you know what I mean? Some, some su pure stupidity, bro. Know you're worth millions of dollars, brother. Don't be on live. If you are going, look, I ain't mad at you for having a gun. You feel me? Protect yourself. You feel me? But come on, son, going live? Going, going live and showing that, you feel me, the Nyosh is cool. The poom, all the poom, whatever you want to do that, that's cool. You may get fined or whatever, held accountable later on, okay, cool. But you having fun. But showing, brandishing, a, you feel me, a firearm or a piece, you know what I mean? That's crazy work, B. That's cr Somebody, I mean, eh, never mind, that's a whole other thing. Because you're somebody who was selling images to, like, TMZ or some of these outlets. After all those events have transpired, John Moran has been suspended. Not only did he get suspended, but also um, some some revenues were taken away from Powerade. Decided to pull some of his ads as well, which is kind of tough. And there's also some potential that um, may be suspended in other. That's realms. another thing, bro. Like when you got these deals, bro, and you sign this contract, and it's like in the contract they saying like this, this, that, and that, and it's in a fine print, but it's a fake ass deed. So sometimes even if it's guaranteed, you know what I mean? Like you gotta think, man. That's why it's. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not even in a 
the multi billion dollar position, but I could just imagine the stress. That's why some people be saying, like, oh yeah, you better off. Like Jake, people like Jake Coach, like, yo, I'm, I miss being broke. I bet, uh, life would be better broke because you don't got all these stipulations like when it comes to life. Like, yo, if you go this way, if you make this left right here, you gonna lose two hundred million. If you make this, if you, if you, if you, if you swerve a little bit, you gonna lose a hundred, hundred thousand. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they really. Bro, your life is under a microscope, bro, even more because you're in the public eye, bro. So, like, you kind of almost got to be perfect. And that's why I don't agree with the fact that the media moves how they move because they paint this picture like these are perfect people. Nah, they just not trying to jeopardize what they got going on. At the end of the day, they're still regular civilians. They just have a little bit more money or a lot more money than the average person. That's the only difference. They still bleed. They still eat. They still, you feel me? Uh, uh, re- recreate, they still mate, they, they, you feel me, they find love, they date, like, they still do the same things we do, sometimes it's on a, on a, uh, uh, upscale, you feel me, upscale vibe or upscale timing, but, bro, it's the same thing, bro, put a little pinky up on it, though, that's it, it's a little bit fancier sometimes, bro, but these are regular well, people, well, still stop have- holding them so high on the pedestal, bro, stop, stop it, hello? What's up? Huh? Yeah, I got you. Hold on. One uno momento. Has not returned back to the um, the um, Memphis Grizzlies either. So uh, I want to say this first and foremost because uh, there's there's two sides to this convo. To the first side, what John Moran is doing is dumb. You agree? That's, I think that's essentially what he's doing is stupid. It's, it's dumb. It's dumb. But it's hilarious. It's dumb. It's, hilarious. it's dumb. But it's hilarious for you Promoting. because it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not you. It's like not. imagine if somebody like imagine if me or Davis or Kai or somebody else was like doing stupid stuff like that. You'd be like, all right, let me pull you aside and let's have this conversation. Correct. Because that's that. You know, it's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. But. There's no this agent. There's no way you would see me in a strip club waving a gun, and you'd be like, "Ah, that nigga's hilarious." How do you even get the gun in there? I Man, what? Don't let you Come on, we know how you got the gun in there. My son got bread. Hold on, my son got bread. Dude. Talking about some high he got bread, man. He got the gun in there because he got bread, bro. Say some shit like, oh, this is my security. Ah, uh, they license to carry. Don't even say nothing. I have no idea. Nobody's no, patting nobody's patting John Morant down. Sorry. A lot of these celebrities, the reason why they be getting these guns in this spot is because nobody's patting the artist down. If you come there to perform, or he's like a celebrity or like a known figure, a public figure, or whatever the case may be, not you be patting them around, bro. They letting them come straight in. Feel me? Do whatever they do to walk through, perform, or somebody like that get a private spot. They letting them ball, bro, because you know what that does when they see them. When people see them in the spot, or people promote like, oh, they gonna be in the spot. Whatever the case may be, it brings more people to want to go see that. Like, oh, son, such and such is there. Like, feel me? The joints want to get in and try to see. You know, 
was how did he transfer a gun to Denver? That was in Denver? That was in Denver. Yeah, that's, that's oh, the right. part. That's the big, that's that's the big, big part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then brought yeah. back in. Yeah. The I was just speaking of. There was an ongoing I was just speaking for They dropped it. They dropped the investigation yeah. specifically for the club. But oh, how, yeah. like, I think the NBA is still doing an investigation on, like, how did he get a gun, gun. from to yeah, Denver? Yeah, okay. So that's the reason. Those are all reasons why it's dumb. Because yeah. like, you're putting yourself in situations that Cross are not advantageous and all that to somebody who's a rising up-and-coming star that's earning millions of dollars. And it just seems as if, like, I don't know job at all, but Nobody it seems knows. as if like you may We're be surrounded by the wrong crowd or being influenced in a negative way because that's just that's just all bad decisions. Yeah, that's foolish. You know, he has for his sure, father, sure. he has his um, mother in his life. They he have like sound decision makers in his life. So I, it's not as if like I can't say, oh, he grew up without a dad. Like no, no, no. Like he's there. I'm pretty sure his father would tell him like, yo, what are you doing, dog? Like, wait, this is family. This is family. Yo, this look like Omar from The Wire. This is family, bro. Yeah, he got a chip on his shoulder. I'm saying, little, hit me out. Hit me out. He seems to be possibly the oldest. He's obviously the most successful out of his family. This is one, two, three, four, five. That's five siblings? Because I'm pretty sure this is like an aunt. It's like a dad. This got to be like a cold for some. I don't know. Like a mom. Bro. I'm saying, he got a chip on his shoulder. He kind of got to be like that. That figure, also, another thing, when you're taking care of a lot of people and a lot of families, you are now the man of the crib. I understand he got a father in his life or uncle, whoever he got in his life. Cool, understand it. But when you're the man in the house and you're paying all the bills and, 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 and sustaining this this lifestyle that everybody is living, bro, you got to make harsh decisions. And I can just tell, like, you kind of got to have a little different. Some people have a different approach. What he was doing was, was wild, but he kind of, kind of, like, Trying to get into the swag, I guess. I don't even know. How old is John Morant? How old is this dude? I think John Morant is around my age. How old? Yeah, John Morant is my... Yeah, nine, uh, if I'm not mistaken, August 10th, 1999. So, John is probably what? 23, 24? Man... You, we still at the age where you trying to figure out yourself. I don't care what nobody, man. Yeah, come on. Stupid, bad decisions. Mm -hmm. Even though you're entertained by it, mm -hmm. everyone's entertained by it. Are you? Everyone is. They are you? Are you entertained by the um the the tweets as well when he be saying we tweets crazy stuff? Bro, I love John Morant. You love John Morant. Bro, he's a, the whole Memphis team is just a bottle of fucking entertainment. The, Dylan, no. Dylan, Dylan, what's his name? Dylan, Dylan Brooks. Brooks. Dylan nah, Brooks is not, hilarious. He's he's not sure he's but it's, it's more funny Why when yo when Kyrie are getting quotes off. Yo, when Kyrie, when, when Son tried to get Kyrie his jersey, and Kyrie just handed him his junk and then dipped off, he was like, yo, that junk had me crying, bro. If you're not from Jersey, bro, that's some Jersey shit. That's some Jersey junk to do, bro. That's some Jersey junk to do, for sure. Give him his jersey and dip. Off every day on Bleacher Reports. It's hilarious to but it's But it's only funny when it's on the court, though, when he's taking it outside the court and he's doing that shit. It's just potentially yeah. dangerous, but niggas is entertained by it. That's why people give it attention. I just think there's an obsession with struggling. Yes, this I agree. This nigga's middle well. class, bro. Not, not, mm. Well, he probably grew up middle class, mm -hmm. but right now, without a doubt, he's a No, not no more. Yeah. He grew up middle class, yeah. though. But, like, for some reason, that's not okay. I don't know why it's you not You have either. to struggle I more. Think... So he's, like, yeah, he's talking. Like, the way he talks to people is, like, he's really been through it. I can't show y'all the other vibes. <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit. Just know that shit attached to the game. <laughs> Just know the motherfuckers attached to the game. Y'all can't see them vibes though. Yeah. Everyone has their struggles. We don't know what he's been through. Yeah. But at the same time, he talks like he's from areas that he's not. He talks like he's from places that he's not. And and like it just be it, it is hilarious to me. I think you know what it is too, man. People just be embracing. Like I think that's what it is. Like people just naturally work with him. He's kind of like when you're around that element, you kind of like adapt to it. But yeah, no, he's definitely not from middle class. Cause pictures I was seeing when he was dressing and just it's okay. Like it's okay to be middle class. You can still be a little like still be sturdy. You can still be stern. You feel me? Like you ain't gotta maybe not like it's not cool. like I don't know. Explain it right. You don't gotta be the toughest dude. You feel me? But it's I right to be a little stern, sturdy. Like have a little. I mean, that's cool. And it's hilarious because I know a lot of people like that because I grew up in a good area and I grew up middle class and I know people that pretended like they had it tougher than they did. Nigga, I know where you grew up, bro. I know where you live. We know somebody too. Who? In his house. Who? Oh, Davis. Davis, yeah. Davis, Davis, Davis grew up, grew up the gates. Davis grew up behind the gates and in a great community, big homes, butler, security guards, cameras. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, I don't understand the obsession with this, especially because like if that's not who you are and not in your lifetime, in your lifestyle, that's, that's just something you don't need to do. I just it's like an ongoing plight with plenty of people in our community where it's just like Yo, that's, it's, it's something that you want to be a part of, but it's not really who you are. Like that was a whole shtick with potentially to um Takashi Six Nine. There's a whole plight with um you know CJ um the Woofy song like allegedly like he wasn't really a part of any gangs. He just took Woofy and ran with it stuff like that. So all that stuff is like said, yeah, what, what y'all doing? Y'all putting yourself said, in a bad situation. If you know, you know. <laughs> you messing up the money and you, it's really just a fucked up situation I say all that to say this though as well bro this nigga's 23 years old I'm gonna tell y'all right now nigga. when I was 23 I was doing dumb shit as well um, but what yeah. I'm saying though is he's, that, he's uh, 20 yo I, He's 23 with millions of dollars and and he's going all of these different places and he's still learning figuring himself out and learning stuff bro regardless of parents or not like bro, he's figuring this stuff out for himself bro he's just gonna fall down bump his head get back up you can ask you can give advice and all that bro but this is another thing I have a problem with, son. Well, not a problem with something I realize in life, bro. You are. It doesn't matter how many times your parents tell you that the stove is hot. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta go touch the stove to find out for yourself how hot is it. It's stupid, yes, because in, in actual in, in actuality, you should go. Your parents said it's hot. You know what? They said it's hot. I believe their judgment. Oh, I, I value their judgment. I'm not gonna speak on it. But sometimes it takes you to be like, oh, that's hot. I'm never gonna touch the stove. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just life. Sometimes, some people, sometimes people can hear the advice, but sometimes they have to go through it so they can have like that reassurance in itself and just know, like, oh, I, yeah, like I experienced that, and I will never do it again. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure he'll never do this again. Hopefully, but let, you know what I mean. But yeah, it's good. I'm not. I when I was young, I wasn't accessible to the same resources and money and exactly. and, and, but imagine and stress a 20 that Jai is. So I don't know what his what's going on in his mental. Like if I had a bunch of money when I was younger and I was doing, there without a like doubt this. people would have been around me without a doubt trying to manipulate me or, or put influence me in the wrong direction. Isn't it? But look, this is fascinating to me. You're right about that. Like who knows what his influences are, right? Yeah. Uh, especially in the heart of Memphis. You think you think you would have been what you call it? But you don't I think so? Oh, well, you have Waleed in your corner. Waleed, he's a good friend. I just don't think. He points you in the right direction, I man. Be, I don't think I'd be waving guns and Oh, no, no. Shit. I would never do that. That right there, I would never do. However, what I'm saying is, though, even beyond the waving guns, like the way he tweets, the yeah. w- the things that he does, the whole him with a 17-year-old in the, in the mall. That's like, a legend. But yeah, 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 bro. It's, yeah, I think just people are just on him because of that Shannon Sharp thing. I think Shannon Sharp kind of, I'm not going to say he started it, but like he put eyes on it and then it kind of like, Slowly, progressively, just he just kept popping up in the news media, even though he was doing some crazy nonsense. But I feel like the eyes were on him, so anything he would have did kind of just would have kind of spot with him. Unfortunate. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, he, he learns from this. Hopefully, he gets, you know what I'm saying, he gets reimbursed or, like, makes that money back he, so he can take care of his family because he does have a big family to take care of. And you don't make mistakes like this, man, but he's a kid, man, just like me, just like a lot of us, man. We're going to make mistakes. Unfortunately, his mistakes come with a lot of consequences. And sometimes with our mistake, it comes with a lot of consequences. You know what I mean? But uh, I think he's going to be fine. Uh, I don't think Rizzo is going to drop him. He's probably going to lose lose some money, do some fines, uh, uh, be out for a few games. But he's going to come back stronger than ever. If I'm not mistaken, he's already been back. I could be wrong, but I think he's already back. And shout out to this young man. Poor mistake. You live, you learn. That's all I really got to say for